What's going on guys? So it's been a while since I visited this subject and that is, do you need a buck converter for your 1002T amplifiers? And we'll get into why you need one and stuff like that. This is the brand new ZK1002T with the IPEX antenna connection on it. Now, some of the internals on this have been updated, so we're gonna see if it can handle the higher voltage of the talent cell without a buck converter. That was an issue when we first started doing all this is we noticed that at full charge, you get over 29 volts and this amp does not like it. Well, the old version doesn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this amplifier up to a speaker and we're gonna see, will it cut out like it used to? And if it doesn't, that's great. If it does, we were kind of expecting it to do that anyway. So. Let me go ahead and get just a piece of speaker wire here. And I've got a real simple setup and I've also got one of the new batteries that we can hook up to it if it doesn't work. Now what used to happen is at 29 volts, the amp would get real quiet, it would cut in and out, it just wouldn't work very well at all. And it took us a little while to figure that out. There's two solutions. Never charge it to full capacity by using a 29, uh, by using a 27 or 28 volt charger, because it was good to about 28 volts. Or get a buck converter and drop it down to 24 and just be at a safe level the whole time. Actually, gave you a little bit longer runtime too. So I have my Klein MM600 right here. Actually, yeah, it's MM600. Switch it to DC. We'll plug, turn the talent cell battery on. This is, I can't get the sticker off. Um, I believe this is the B2, B1. This is the Talent Cell BP, I mean PB240B1. There's a B2 as well. All of them needed a buck converter for some reason or another. All right, so that's hooked up. Now it's reading 29.19 at full charge. Now this battery you cannot charge and play at the same time. So I know that's gonna be a comment for some people, but realistically you never wanna charge while you're playing. It just isn't good for any electronic components, but some people like just to push the limits. Let's go ahead and just set this up really quick. I'm gonna sum the channels by using the two middle ones. And what that does is give us mono sound versus stereo. So we'll get the full range out of the single speaker. Doesn't give you any more power, just adds up. I've done that video several times too. All right, that's hooked up. Let's go ahead and plug in the amplifier. And let me get some connector ends on for the speaker. We'll use this Kenwood that I got. Plus I got a JVC. Amazon just delivered a package. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this speaker right here. Positive, negative. All right, that's set up. there this is on that's good to go volume all the way up let's go ahead do bass half treble half connect an extra phone to it All right, we should be playing music right now, but we're not. What is going on? We are hooked up. We ain't getting zip zilled on nada. Let's 
change speakers. I've got a JVC over here. I haven't used that Kenwood in forever, so I don't know if it's smoked or not. Nope. All right. So, let's pause this. Disconnect that. Let me hook up this one really quick just to see what happens. Okay, that was really loud. So we're at 26.6 on that. Let's go ahead and just disconnect again just to see. As you can see, it's on. 24 volts in. 29.16. Amps cut on. Let's wait for it to connect. Nothing. It will not play. It goes into like a protect mode and will not allow you to play. So that's actually kind of cool because... The old version, it would play, but it would give you all kinds of crazy readings and just would not work right. And it would, some people would change the amp out thinking it was the amp, but as you can clearly tell right here, it is not the amplifier. Um, it's the battery. Too much voltage, too high a voltage. It just will not work. Now, let me, um, let me grab, what do we want to do? Test on that one, it works fine. Um, can I do, here, let's do this. Let's do a 1001 on the same battery. That sparked, nice. It's always nice to have that big spark. Let's go ahead and plug this one in. This one should play, but it might not sound very good. I haven't used a 1001B amplifier in quite some time in a build with a talent cell, so bear with me. All right, so we're 2916. Let's go ahead and connect the Bluetooth. Who's the audio? Make sure it's turned on. Okay, that's a good sign. We heard it that time. fine so that was one of the things that happened in the initial testing as well the 1002t couldn't take it but the 1001b usually was fine and so was the 1002 don't uh, uh might have been the, what was it 1002l i think it's 1002l was fine the single knobs were able to handle it it was the ones with the eq on them that could not handle the 29 volts so there you have it, guys. A little bit of information for y'all. I know it's been a while since I've done any troubleshooting videos like this, and hopefully y'all are all able to follow along. Um, I'm also going to be doing a full build video, so it'll be a several-part video to show y'all how to build these. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.